Hey guys, it's me. Look at this lonely little zucchini. I'm thinking of using it in a recipe. You want to watch? Check it out. So what I did was I bought a bunch of these little zucchinis. Um, usually in the summertime they get gigantic, but because it's kind of out of season, it's really not that big. So I bought a couple of them. Um, this recipe is going to be stuffed zucchini boats, and they come out to three points each on the Weight Watchers Points Plus plan. So here's what we're going to need. We're going to need several of these. I cut up um, three of them, which makes six halves. Here we have some Pecorino Romano grated cheese, and we're going to need a tablespoon each for our ta I should say a tablespoon for each little zucchini boat. We have a quarter cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. We have four ounces of chopped frozen spinach. Couple mushrooms that I cut up, put in a bowl, some pepper, some Italian seasoning. In this paper plate, I have some chopped red onion and the inside of the zucchini that I scraped out, which I'm going to show you now. Here are those little zucchinis. So here's what I did I cut them, as you can see, lengthwise, and I scooped out the inside. I stuck them in a pan of boiling water, about a cup of boiling water just for a couple minutes to get them soft. As you can see, they're very tender, um, not very hard. Okay, over here on the stove, I have my big baking sheet with some aluminum foil that I'm gonna spray with some olive oil spray. And then I have a pan with a tablespoon of um, olive oil inside there because we're gonna do some sauteing. So here's how it starts. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my stove kind of hard to cook and record at the same time guys so I hope this comes out all right for you so anyway what we're doing now is we're heating up the oil in the pan there's about a tablespoon of oil in here I used that little measuring spoon that I showed you before with the cheese we're gonna let that heat up to this tablespoon of oil we are gonna add our mixture of the inside of the zucchini that I chopped up as well as the onions now, the zucchini is going to give off a little bit of moisture at first before it starts to brown up a little bit, but that's okay. Um, just the way the recipe goes. And I should never put it in a paper plate because, as you can see, it got really soft. But whatevs, here we go. So we're going to put it into the pan. Definitely don't recommend using a paper plate. <laughs> handy dandy spatula and we're just going to saute this around a little bit get it going now I like to add a little bit of salt to this but I don't like to add it right away because what happens when you add salt to onions is it draws the moisture out too quick and then sometimes it becomes more steamed than anything because of all the extra liquid even though this zucchini has some liquid in it I don't want to further the liquid part of what I'm trying to accomplish here by sauteing. So we're going to do that for just a little bit. I'm going to raise the temp. And um, these little zucchini boats are actually really good. You can use them as a side dish. You can use them as a snack. Um, as I said, they come out to three points each with just the ingredients that I chose to use. But I know you could add stuff. Like um, I've made them before with... Um, What's that? Lean ground turkey meat. I've added some fire roasted red peppers to it. So many things you could do. You could add chicken to it. Whatever you want. So we're going to let that saute for just a little bit and we'll be right back. Right, guys so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring over our mushrooms <laughs> what a funny camera angle all right so we're gonna stick the mushrooms into the pan and we're gonna let them saute with the onions and the zucchini so far it's looking pretty good and let me tell you the house smells delish delicious 
So we'll saute this up a little bit, and now is when I'm definitely going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to this. Not much, but just a little bit. All right, we'll be right back the next step. Okay, so I've added the salt and pepper, and I'm continuing the sautéing part of this just a little longer. Um, what I'm going to do now is add the spinach. So we'll put the little spatula down, and now we're going to add this spinach. It's about four ounces frozen, and we're going to stir that in. Oh, the house smells good. Yay! And I'm hungry. And I'm getting even more hungry watching this. <laughs> so, as that cooks, I'm going to start over here. I'm going to take some of this oil, shake it up, and we're going to spray the pan. Hey guys, I forgot to mention that I set the oven for 425, so it's already um, on bake mode. It's done with preheating. All right, so that's set. So while this is sautéing, we're going to take these little zucchini boats and we are going to lay them on our pan. I'm just trying to um, alleviate some steps. I don't want to fill these zucchini boats and then uh, try to place them in the the pan here because that's just not going to work. Ah, I could slide this guy down here. All right, so we've got our soldiers all lined up. <laughs> all right, so let's finish this part. All right. And it smells absolutely yummy. Alright you guys, so the next step is our spinach, our sautéed uh, mushrooms and onions are going. I'm going to add the quarter cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. The reason I'm going to add this in is it's definitely a binding agent. It's going to get everything kind of sticky. And um, you'll see, it's kind of like the glue that holds everything together. With a little bit of moisture that all the vegetables give off, that combined with the breadcrumbs makes a really good glue keep everything together so when we stuff our boats, everything's kind of stuck together and it's really good. Really, really good. Alright. We're just going to let this cook for a little bit. I'm actually going to lower the flame a little. Uh, I guess we're going to put it on four. Alright. So you can see the starch from the zucchini mixed with the breadcrumbs and some of that liquid is, see how it's like pasty? See how it kind of clumps? That's what we want so we can stuff these boats. All right. I think everything's pretty well incorporated and, like I said, gluey. So the next thing we're going to do is come over here. We're going to get the cheese. Sorry, my kitchen's small and I have no room. Here's our coffee pot. Okay. <laughs> so let's take this stuff off the stove. Actually, no, we're not going to take it off the stove. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this little tablespoon and I'm going to now... Okay, so we're going to take some of this stuffing mixture and we're going to put it inside each zucchini boat. So here's our first one. Well, you just lay it on top. I don't know, you probably can get about, I guess, two, two to three tablespoons per boat, but I'm going to start with two so that I'm sure to have enough for each one. So I'm just going back and forth, taking a scoop here, putting it in here. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. I mean, again, the points value is uh, three points per boat. But since it's vastly vegetables, I'm really not too concerned. I mean, other than the little bit of breadcrumbs that we're using and some cheese, nothing crazy. You're going to see some of these boats actually get filled with a little less than maybe the previous one. But All right, so we got two left. 
We could definitely, this big boat, whoa, this big boat's gonna, <laughs> tipping over. All right, whoop, sorry guys. It's so hard to record and hold this at the same time. I need to invest in something like um, maybe a tripod or something. All right, so I'm scraping the last bit of this stuff out of my pan. And we're going to bring it over here. And we're going to stop the heck out of this zucchini. Ah, oh, get out of there, mister. All right. So we got that covered, right guys? Okay, last thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Pecorino Romano and we're going to sprinkle a tablespoon of cheese on each one. Alright, so this is the cheese I like. It's uh, Black Bear and it's Pecorino Romano. It's got a little bit of a bang to it. So here's what we're doing. We're taking a tablespoon of cheese, roughly a tablespoon, and we're going to sprinkle the cheese on top of the boat. All right, so maybe it's a half a tablespoon. A tablespoon seems to be kind of too much for this, but depends what you like. I don't want it too cheesy, but I definitely want it to give a little bit of a crust on the top. So I don't know, half a tablespoon or a tablespoon, whatever you prefer. So we're just going to go down the line here and we're going to sprinkle it on each one. I mean, this is probably one of the simplest dishes as far as vegetables go, as far as ingredients go, as prep time. Pretty simple, but let me tell you what, it's delicious. Every time I've made this for company, for my family, it's definitely a hit. And, you know, like I said earlier, ground turkey meat in this would be outrageous. Okay, so all we're going to do now is what I like to do. You don't have to do this step. I take a little bit of Italian seasoning, dried. I sprinkle the top just a little bit. I just go down. It just gives it a little bit more flavor. Now I'm going to pull you out of this little spot. There's my daughter's picture. So here are the zucchini boats all lined up, ready to go into their oven. Uh, again, it's at 425, and we're going to keep it in here, I don't know, just until you see it kind of get golden brown. But I'll show you what that looks like in just a couple minutes. But I'm going to open up my oven and take these babies and slide them on in there. All right, so here they are getting ready for their sauna and we're gonna close the door. We'll see you back in just a couple minutes. Final product, here they are guys. Oh my God, they smell so delicious. I'm gonna get a little bit of a close up in here for you. I mean, you can see everything that's in there. The cheese is caramelized on top. Uh, we got the onions and the mushrooms and the zucchini and oh yum e. So I left it in the oven a little longer. I told you guys about six minutes, but I left it in for about eight. Um, I'm at the point where I think I should have parboiled the boats a little bit longer than I did uh, before I started making the video. So I don't know. It depends how you like it. I like my zucchini tender, but not mushy. So. For me, this is perfect. For some of you, you might want to cook it a little longer to your liking. But um, I don't know, guys. All I know is I can't wait to dig into one of these babies. So I am going to cut one up and show you what it looks like. So here it is, guys. Here's our final product. Uh, we have the zucchini boat in the plate. And let's dig in and try it because it looks so yummy. See how soft it is? A uh, little bit of the inside kind of... Um, falls out a little bit but I don't know my mouth is just salivating and I'm going to take a bite mmm -hmm. mm, delicious guys try this out it is really an amazing recipe as you saw it took about six minutes to do my face is not in camera because I look like crap today but sorry NYC I don't know I'm from Jersey but I don't know it was kind of cute little top and I'm starting to notice my love handles are going down a little bit. See? See? Stretch marks, babies. What are you going to do, guys? That's life. But anyhow, this is delicious. Try it. Um, I hope you liked the video, and I hope you make it. And if you do make it, please send me a comment down below. Let me know how it came out. Send some pictures, whatever. Video response. And if you have any um, questions or comments, again, leave them below. And thanks, guys, for your support. I appreciate it. And as always... I'll see you at the next video. Bye, guys.